Hey, I'm Jen. This is my audience. Hi. Hi, I'm Sama. <laughs> And I'm Jessica. I am going to talk about texting and driving. I want to share with you the dangers that are associated with texting and driving. I'm going to focus on the main distraction of teen drivers, which is texting, and also the statistics that have been put out there that are related to texting and driving, as well as Missouri state laws that pertain to texting and driving. Uh, one of the most common tempting and deadly distractions of teen drivers is cell phone usage while they're behind the wheel, mostly texting. 40% um, of 17-year-olds say themselves that they have used cell phones while driving and not only just talking but mostly texting. Any cell phone use while you are behind the wheel of a car is dangerous whether it's hand, hands free or Bluetooth, all of them, they're all dangerous. Uh, just the act of dialing a number on your cell phone decreases or increases crash rate by three times. And because texting and driving is so deadly, there are many statistics that back up the dangers that go along with texting and driving. <clears throat> the age group under 20 has the highest percentage of being distracted by cell phone usage while driving. And most of those, they end up in deadly crashes. Um, cell phone use behind the wheel of a car reduces the amount of brain activity while driving by 37%, and 48% of teens say that they talk and text on their cell phones while they drive. 60% of drivers today use cell phones while they are driving. <clears throat> Distracted driving is actually the number one killer of teens in America. Um, Alcohol-related accidents have actually dropped and texting and driving has taken place of drinking and driving. Back in 2012, two teenagers were killed and 38 were injured in a four-car accident <clears throat> near Gray Summit, Missouri, and that also involved two school buses from the St. James School District. Those, those two teenagers died and uh, police came to the conclusion that it was because of texting and driving. As a result of these stati statistics, many states have formed laws to prevent texting while driving. Texting while driving has been banned for all drivers in a total of 38 states. Uh, in the Wichita Eagle, KDOT noted that it is illegal to text while driving, and Governor Brownback has proclaimed Wednesday as no text no text on board pledge day in September 2012. AT&T has been spreading the message that it can wait or no text is worth dying for, which I think is a great cause for it's to help anti-texting. Um, Missouri's laws that pertain to texting and driving, they really don't have, I don't think, that great of a law that pertains to it. The only law as of right now is that it's illegal for children, teens, and adults under the age of 21 to use their cell phones while driving. But as of right now, it's perfectly legal for citizens over the age of 21 to use their cell phones while they're driving, which I completely disagree with. If you were to get pulled over in the state of Missouri for texting and driving, the fine is $200. And you can be speeding and texting or anything else, and all they'll find you for is for texting and driving, they, not even the speeding. <clears throat> uh, in September 19th, Mark Kovac from the News Leader said the ban on texting is taking effect and it's hitting the teenagers hardest because they just 
they think cell phones are more important than their safety and everybody's safety around them. So we've learned that texting while driving is the most common distraction among teen drivers as well as the statistics that pertain to texting and driving and Missouri's laws against texting and driving. If we want to reduce the risk of accidents that occur with texting and driving, then we need to follow the rules and the laws that states have provided because they don't just make these laws to be mean, they're doing it for people's safety. <clears throat> I'm proud to say that I don't use my cell phone while I'm driving. I definitely do not text because the safety of myself and my daughter is always in the car. That is more important to me than checking a text message. It can wait till I'm in a parking lot or parked at home. I have Bluetooth in my car and I don't even use that. It just takes a second to look down at my steering wheel and push OK to accept the call and I can get into an accident. So answering a phone call or a text while driving is not worth it, and I wish more people would be would have that on their mind and not text and drive. Thank you.